Hello everyone, welcome to C Academy YouTube channel. My name is Verile Ngosi. In today's lesson, we do the introduction about meiosis. So this document that you see on your screen is an examination guideline, which based on meiosis. So if you can see here, it's a life science, a department of basic education. Uh, this document since it was written in 2021 so it's still active even now so it's not yet changed nothing has changed about it so this is meiosis meiosis falls under paper 2 uh, it carries 21 marks so during examination this is a lot of marks so it's a lot of marks so meiosis in term 1 falls under term 1 and then the duration of teaching meiosis is one and a half weeks so these are the thing and the content so today we will only do the introduction so uh, this document it can be downloaded from the department of basic education website so or you just search uh, examination guideline life science grade 12 then it will take you there google will take you there without wasting more time let's get to this Okay, number one, so revision of the structure of a cell with an emphasis on the parts of the nucleus, the centrosome, and the cytoplasm. So, here what we need to know in this chapter, you remember in grade 10, we studied about an animal cell. So, this is the structure of an animal cell. So, what we will be focusing on in this chapter, we will focus on the cytoplasm which happens to be a fluid inside the cell. So it's this fluid that gives the cell a shape. And then another thing is the centrosome. Centrosome is this small part here. So a, a cell contains two centrosome on each side of the cell. This is a, the centrosome and another one is this one. So I will talk about them later in this video when I explain mitosis because mitosis, mitosis is part of this video so another thing that we must know is the parts of the nucleus so we know that in the nucleus inside the nucleus we've got nucleolus the part that uh, produce ribosomes and then we've got chromosome which happens to be uh, most of the time we call it we call it uh, chromatin networks so this time we will deal with chrom chromosome so these are the things that we must we, we will be focusing on in this chapter and then another thing that we will be focusing on is the structure of the chromosome so we studied chromosome in grade 10 uh, number one chromosome consists of dna which makes up genes and protein so if we move to the same slide this is a chromosome inside the, the nucleus so if we zoom it up uh, this is a one chromosome and then chromosome uh, is made up of a protein i mean yes protein and dna so this is the structure of a dna you remember dna contains double strut and then this dna is wrapped around a histone histone is a protein another form of protein so this dna is wrapped around the the histone the function of a histone protein is to provide structural support for a chromosome or for a dna so it gives a support so it support this dna so when we wrap the dna on a histone and then put them together like condense together like in a form of like putting them close together we will we end up with a chromosome like this one this is a condensed chromosome so uh, i will talk about it later in this video but you can see in this structure first we start with the dna and then dna wraps on a histone protein and then when dna wraps on a histone protein we call it chromatin or the chromatin network so chromatin network is when dna and the histone 
are wrapped together and then immediately while they are wrapped together and then they wrapped and they become more condensed that is when it becomes a chromosome so this is a chromosome so another thing that we must know we must know the number of chromosome in a cell is a characteristics of an organism for example human have 46 chromosome like if you go this slide again here we've got the number of chromosome this number of chromosome is the ones that gives an organism characteristics like us human we've got 46 chromosome 23 from our mother which is maternal and 23 from our father which is paternal so these chromosomes are the ones that are giving us the character of being human they are 46 and then a cat cat contains 38 chromosome so 18 are, are autosome and then one is sex chromosome so cat contains 36 and then cattle contains 60 chromosome so these are the this number of chromosome are the ones that are giving us character of being the organism so then one other thing chromosome which are single thread become double or two chromatin joined by a centromere as a result of a dna replication so here i'll show you something so you must be listening carefully when you come here this is a chromosome and then after dna replication we've got we will have two part which looks like this chromosome but this part we don't call it a chromosome when we refer to only one one part so it's a chromosome when we refer them all together like let me give the level this part is called a chromosome a chromosome again this one is a chromosome when we refer them like together it's a chromosome like when we refer everything here it's a chromosome so chromosome is a uh, one chromatid and one chromatid together with a centromere centromere is this center that hold this chromatin together so one chromatid and one chromatid we call them sisters chromatin and the sisters chromatin together with a centromere they make one chromosome not two chromosome one chromosome and this is also one chromosome but when these are together we call it chromatids so you must know the difference so when they are together we call it chromatids and then when they are double and held together by centromere we call them chromosome so i hope it makes sense because it's very important sometimes they will ask you to label so you must be able to label the the structure when it's single thread and then again when it's double uh, double chromos double chromatids which are held together by centromere so another thing uh, you must be able to differentiate between haploid and the diploid cells in terms of chromosome number so i will make i will give you a example on this structure here this is somatic cell so somatic cell are body cells cells that are throughout our body and then we've got sex cell this sex cell are only found in our sex organs so in male it's testis and then in female it's an ovum ovum and then any cell in an organism excluding male and female gametes they are diploid they have two sets of chromosome so if you can see here i have oh, this is two sets of chromosome one from my father another one from my mother so it's two sets one each chromosome has got its partner so one from my father one from my father but in sex cells we've got only one so in this situation there is a process called my meiosis so meiosis has already happened 
meiosis has halved the chromosome number so these are the sex cell and then these are somatic cell so sex cell is a specialized cell called gametes or sperm cell and egg cell they have an haploid haploid is represented by n n number of chromosome and then diploid is represented by 2n which have two sets of chromosome and then this one are produced through mitosis while sex cell are produced through meiosis so in the next video i will do the process of meiosis so in full so this is the difference between a diploid cell and the hyploid cell so you must know them and then sex cell gametes and somatic cell in the body so these are the things that i've talked about uh, like this is the sex cells and then this is somatic cell so these are the different one it's it, they have tabloid or have two set of chromosome and then one is hyploid it's only single chromosome so this is the different you must know that this is 2n and then this is n so n is haploid and then 2n is diploid you must know that di is 2 so that is how i used to remember them so and then another thing you must know the difference between sex chromosome which are gonosome and autosome this structure here we call it karyotype so karyotype uh, shows us the number of chromosome this is uh, this is a human it's a set of chromosome for a human we've got number one one is from part is from my mother another one is from my father like if you can see they are set so from 1 to 22 these chromosomes are called autosome from 1 to 22 and then the 23 one we call it sex chromosome or they are called gonosome so it's either sex chromosome or gonosome this is the chromosome number three number 23 i mean sorry this is the chromosome number 23 so xx represent female so if it's xx they represent female xy represent male so you can have both here it's either you have xx or you have xy so sometimes they will give you they will ask you a question ask you which sex is this person so if they ask you about sex you come to the chromosome number 23 so you you look at xx if it's xx you know that this person is a female but if it's xy then you know that oh this person is a male so this is how we see the difference so it's autosome and then number 23 chromosome we call it gonosome or sex cell this is the difference between autosome and the and the gonosome so going forward another thing that you must know is the revision of the process of mitosis so we did mitosis in grade 10 i know it's almost two years since you did this chapter of mitosis so i will remind you so mitosis is divided into four phases it's divided is a prophase metaphase anaphase and the telophase so the functions of mitosis is to duplicate cells at first we have one cell but at the end we will end up with two cells of the same size as the parent cell so these two cells they have the same size as the parent cell so this process we call it mitosis that is the definition of mitosis mitosis so process number one uh, it's a prophase so the prophase the, it say the chromatid material shorten and thicken into individual chromosome which are visible to under the light microscope remember most of the time dna spends its time as a chromatin network but immediately if we approach the 
cell division we approach myces this dna start to condense like they start to be visible like if you see them in a microscope they start to be like look like this one they are no longer a like a spaghetti like this one so now they start to be like this one so this happened during a uh, prophase and then the nucleus and the nuclear membrane start to disappear if you can see here during mitosis the nucleolus this part inside the cell that produce ribosome and the then this membrane they start to disappear so this happens during the prophase of mitosis and then another phase it's metaphase during the metaphase membrane and nuclear this this integrate so this membrane this nuclear membrane and then nucle nucleolus they disappear they are no longer visible if you can see here they are no longer there the centrioles give rise to the spindle spindle fiber or spindle then the chromosome are line up on the equator this is a cent the part that we talked about which is a centromere so this centromere they start to move like this side like here if you can see they, they move from here to here and then when in between they produce something called spindle or a spindle fiber and then the chromosome are line up at the equator so if you can see the chromosome are line up like at the center of the equator this spindle fiber that is produced by the the, the, the centrals or centrosome they attach themselves on the on the centromere of the of the chromosome so they attach themselves here during the metaphase and then during the anaphase the next phase is anaphase so during the anaphase the chromatids are pulled to the opposite pole of the cell by the shortening of the spindle fiber so because this spindle fiber they were attached on the centromere so now they they pull this uh, chromatids so these chromatids now they separate during the anaphase so you can see here they move to the side of the cell and then the, the last part is a telophase during the telophase a nuclear membrane reformed around the daughter chromosome so now uh, because the nucleus was disappeared now it coming back again so this we have nucleus on this side then we have nucleus on this side and the last part is, is a cytokinesis so cytokinesis is when this part separate into two so it's when cytoplasm uh, it's separated into two parts the, mem the cell membrane is is closed it's shrinking here and then it's closing we ended up with two cells so at the end we have two cells so this is the process of mitosis so i hope it makes sense and then so i think this is all for this video so to avoid this video to be long i will end here and then in the next video i will give all the processes of mitosis meiosis i mean so mitosis and meiosis they are almost the same but they are not the same so also meiosis contains these processes of mitosis contains prophase anaphase metaphase and the telophase so these processes are happening in meiosis but we will have a different result so i hope you enjoyed this this video so anyone who is studying i say good luck with your studies i see you in the next video of the process of meiosis thank you for watching if you are not yet subscribed please subscribe so that our channel can grow thank you very much